trillions of bacteria live in our gut and play a crucial role in maintaining healthy bowel movements, promoting digestion, and even strengthening our immune system. And that's why it is very important to protect them by avoiding certain foods that can wreak havoc on these friendly bacteria and severely damage our gut. So what are those foods and how can we avoid them? Let's learn in today's video. Number 1. Sugar Studies have shown that excessive sugar intake can negatively impact gut health and not just refined white sugar, but also other types of sugars found in processed foods, sweets, and even some natural sources like honey. One of the reasons for this is that sugar can disrupt the balance of beneficial bacteria in the gut, leading to an overgrowth of harmful bacteria and other microorganisms. This imbalance can lead to various digestive problems, including constipation, bloating, and inflammation. In one research study, participants who consumed a high-sugar diet reported experiencing more constipation and poor overall gut function than when they consumed a low-sugar diet. This suggests that reducing sugar intake can improve gut health and reduce the risk of digestive issues. Before we move on, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. If you find our videos helpful, please support us by becoming a patron. Number 2. Emulsifiers Soy lecithin is a common emulsifier derived from soybeans, which is used in a wide variety of food products such as chocolate, margarine, many baked products, ice cream, salad dressings, and even processed meats. Soy lecithin and other emulsifiers are often added to these processed foods to improve their texture, taste, and shelf life. It's common knowledge that processed foods aren't the healthiest dietary choice, but the impact that they can have on gut health might be surprising. According to recent research conducted on mice, emulsifiers commonly used in heavily processed foods can disrupt the gut microbiota and lead to various health issues, including colitis and metabolic diseases. In one study, mice that were given emulsifiers in their drinking water developed gut inflammation and metabolic disorders, such as obesity and diabetes due to disrupted gut microbiota. So try to avoid unhealthy processed foods, especially the ones that contain emulsifiers. Number 3. Dairy Products The link between dairy consumption and gut health has been quite a topic of debate in recent years, and studies have revealed some potential concerns. For example, a study found that consuming dairy products regularly led to an increase in a specific type of gut bacteria called Bifidobacterium anomalis. In fact, having this type of bacteria in your gut is generally considered good for digestion and overall gut health. However, if there are too many of these bacteria in your gut, it can lead to inflammation in the gut and worsen symptoms of inflammatory bowel disease. Not only that, some studies have found that consuming dairy products too much and too often can lead to an overgrowth of gut bacteria that produce hydrogen sulfide, which can cause foul-smelling gas and potentially contribute to gut inflammation. It's important to note that not all dairy products are created equal, and some may have more pronounced effects on gut health than others. For example, fermented dairy products like yogurt and kefir contain beneficial probiotics that support a healthy gut microbiome. So experts say that you are good to go for these probiotic foods in moderate amounts. Number 4. Red Meat Similar to dairy consumption, research suggests that eating red meat may also promote the growth of certain bacterial strains that can have negative effects on gut health. Eventually, this can negatively affect weight management, immune function, and even your overall mental health. One study found that people who consumed red meat too often had a high number of certain bad bacteria, which are linked to gut inflammation and an increased risk of inflammatory bowel disease. And nitroso compounds present in red meat can also damage the lining of the intestines and can even increase the risk of developing colorectal cancer. Number 5. Gluten Gluten is a type of protein found in grains such as wheat, barley, and rye and it has been the subject of much research in recent years due to concerns about its impact on health. In people with celiac disease, consuming gluten can cause damage to the small intestine, leading to symptoms like diarrhea, abdominal pain, and weight loss. Even in people without celiac disease, 
Gluten can sometimes cause digestive symptoms like bloating, stomach pain, and diarrhea. This condition is known as non-celiac gluten sensitivity, and while it is not well understood, it is thought to affect up to 6% of the population. In addition to digestive symptoms, some studies have suggested that excessive consumption of gluten-based foods may also have other negative effects on health. For example, research has found that gluten may contribute to a leaky gut, a condition in which the lining of the intestine becomes permeable and allows harmful substances to enter the bloodstream. Number 6. Eggs Remember the part where we said that soybeans contain soy lecithin, which is used as an emulsifier? Well, eggs contain egg lecithin, which is commonly used as an emulsifier in many processed foods, cosmetics, and sometimes in skin products. Mainly found in egg yolks, this type of fat has been indirectly linked with the development of heart disease. Egg lecithin is a good source of choline, a nutrient which is considered important for healthy liver and brain function. When lecithin is broken down by gut bacteria, it can produce a compound called trimethylamine N-oxide. Studies have shown that high levels of this compound in the bloodstream can contribute to the formation of blood clots and the development of atherosclerosis, the buildup of plaque in the arteries. But that doesn't mean that you completely kick them out of your diet. Experts say that people with heart disease should limit their egg intake or avoid eating egg yolks. However, if you are healthy and have no risk factors of heart disease, experts recommend eating eggs with your daily diet to fulfill your daily needs of protein, vitamin D, vitamin B12, choline, and several others. Number 7. GMOs Scientists have developed genetically modified organisms, or GMOs, in order to create crops that are resistant to pests and disease. The three most commonly genetically modified crops in the United States are wheat, soybeans, and corn. Some studies have shown that consuming certain GMO foods can reduce the populations of beneficial bacteria in the gut. This reduction can potentially have negative consequences for our gut health and overall well-being. Number 8. Corn Corn is one of the most widely consumed crops in the United States, but what many people don't know is that a large percentage of it, it is genetically modified. In fact, Studies have shown that nearly 90% of all corn grown in the U.S. is genetically modified. While this may not be true for all types of commercially sold corn, the prevalence of GMO corn in our diets, combined with the lack of clear labeling, makes it difficult to know whether or not we're consuming a healthy variety of corn. Number 9. Nightshade Plants While nightshade plants like tomatoes, potatoes, eggplant, and bell peppers are typically considered nutritious, they contain a compound that can be problematic for your gut health. According to some studies conducted on mice, these plants contain glycoalkaloids, which can cause inflammation in the intestines and can even lead to a leaky gut. Although moderate consumption of these plants is considered quite healthy, consuming high concentrations of glycoalkaloids from these foods is still a matter of concern. Number 10. Tap Water Ensuring proper hydration by drinking sufficient water is essential for maintaining good health, but it's also important to consider the quality of the water you drink. Tap water is often treated with various chemicals, including chlorine, which can have negative effects on your gut health. Studies have shown that drinking chlorinated water can disrupt the balance of your gut microbiome and increase the risk of developing colorectal cancer. Therefore, it's recommended to choose purified water sources or invest in a home filtration system to minimize exposure to harmful chemicals. You can also consider getting your tap water tested for harmful impurities or compounds from a reputed laboratory. Thank you for watching and subscribing to the channel. See you in the next video.